describe and give you some details about take back and transfer. Um, in this example, I'm providing you with the Verizon IVR Cloud, the JetBlue Center, and the Teleperformance Center. I'm going to run through a couple of examples and I'm going to show you the network usage. So, <clears throat> if I'm a customer and they dial into the Verizon Cloud, and they should have been over here at JetBlue, and they wind up at Teleperformance, here's what happens to the call. The cloud transfers the call to Teleperformance. An agent here at Teleperformance realizes that the call needs to be over in JetBlue, then has to initiate a transfer. The transfer then goes over an outbound trunk over to JetBlue, where it's terminated there. During that time, both lines are held up for the complete duration of the call. So I'm using one inbound trunk, and one outbound trunk, and held for the duration of the call. With, you, with the use of take back and transfer, using the same example, the call is transferred to teleperformance, but by initiating a service, uh, the take back and transfer service with a star eight, with a toll free number, which identifies where the call should go, Call will then be initiate. The call will then go back to the Verizon cloud. Verizon will then transfer the call back over to JetBlue, terminating the call here at Verizon at, at Teleperformance. And then you only have one inbound trunk used on the JetBlue side, zero in use at the Teleperformance side. You still have all your capacity here, and that one call is not using up multiple lines, it's only using one. Hope that helped.